All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm just gonna quickly go through this PGY Tech vlogging case for a DJI Osmo Action. So what I'm gonna do first of all is let's just have a little quick look around the box. So what I'm gonna do here, as I'm turning this box around and trying to focus on it and whatnot, if at any point you want to kind of read anything or look at any of the pictures a bit longer, just pause the video and have a little look at what's going on on the box and stuff. Because to be honest, the thing I need to do really quickly is get into it and see what the case is all about. It's just that I know that some people really do like to see what's on the outside of the boxes and stuff. So hence why I'm going around the outside of the box. Okay, now I don't think that that's going to be particularly interesting. There isn't really much on there, I don't think. A couple of pictures there, whatnot. But I think we'll get a better idea of what it's up to once we've got it on the actual action or the actions inside it so let me open up the box and we'll get into it and see what's inside and whatnot okay so first of all we've got a card here which is like you know a contact card and whatnot also we get a little diagram thing on the back as well as to what we can do with the actual case although i would imagine probably most of this is going to be quite self-explanatory once we're into it anyway and also looks like a couple of pgy tech stickers so we get them out of the way and then let me get onto the case itself so let me pop that out of the plastic okay so there's the case there anyway laying flat down on the table now just to give us a really good idea of what's on it and what's around it and the first thing we can see here are two mounts one to the sides and one to the top here now what i'm going to do i'm going to put the action in because it might make a little bit more sense once the action's in so we can see how everything is orientated so in order to open it up it's got a sliding little back panel here so either you push it down a bit there on the side and then just pop it out like that and then we get our action just drop the action into there like so and then just put that back over the back again it all just slides in it's got little grooves on the side for that to slide then after a point what will happen is that will click into place there we go so that's all like all solid in there now that action's not going anywhere okay so with the action in there i think that might give us a little bit of a better idea as to what's going on as to what these other bits are on the top and the side so what these are, are variations of cold shoes, which I think are absolutely awesome. Now what happens is they both detach, and I'll show you the mechanisms for these in a second. So effectively what you're left with here are two cold shoe mounts, one to the top and one to the side. But you can add these extra components on all these little extra fittings. So either one can go on anywhere really, so they can either go onto the side or they can go onto the top there like that. Now you might think to yourself, well, why add these on? And that's what I initially thought myself, but then I realized a couple of things, right? So that one there just basically extends the shoe mount out as it, as it would do when it's on the top like that as well. And I think, you know, you might think to yourself, well, yeah, it's still just the same thing really, isn't it? Well, in fact, it actually gives you an extra little bit of reach further up or to the side. So if you're mounting certain things which otherwise may go into the field of view, these may well just keep them slightly out. Things such as microphones, and I'll get to that shortly. Then this other connection here, this is, well, this is probably more interesting to be honest, because once this is on, this actually gives you a quarter 20 mount for a number of other things. So if you've got any kind of like little quarter 20 attachments and whatnot, which otherwise just won't go into a cold shoe mount, you can put this little thing on and then there you go, you're attaching quarter 20s to the side or to the top. Now I think that makes it extremely versatile. And then underneath here, we have got the obligatory GoPro connection. Um, although in recent times, these are now called GoPro fingers. So GoPro have managed to remarket another thing and just call it something by a different name. So there we go, GoPro fingers at the bottom there. Okay, so that's basically what it's all about. Now I've tucked the door off the side of the action there as well, just so we can see 
clearly that we can get full access to everything inside there we say everything the sd card and the usb c socket as well so what i'm going to do now is just mount a couple of things on it so we can have an idea of what these things or what kind of things we can put on it Okay, so to the first example then of something being attached to the PGY tech, and this is quite possibly the first thing you would attach to something like this, and that's some form of a grip or handle. In this instance, this is an extension rod as well. But basically, yeah, this is probably the first thing, this sort of pistol grip to attach to something like this. Now, let me just get on and attach a microphone to it. So there is a microphone attached to the top of it. And I've got to say immediately as well, it's very, very solid. Because what you've got to bear in mind here with an action camera like the Action, you know, they're all really tiny. So no matter what you bulk them up with as far as a case is concerned, and as to whatever features and functions said case may have, you've still got to bear in mind that they have to be quite solid and stuff. I mean, I'm shaking this around like a bit of a mad person here. <laughs> and this is all fine. Yeah, so I would say that is fantastic. Now, just quickly, let me just try repositioning this dead fast. Okay, so there we have it then. There's the microphone attached to the side shoe on the actual camera case. And as we can see there, it does keep everything really, really neat. I mean, I would imagine in this configuration, this size microphone may well get into the field of view here. But you've always got the option side or top, depending upon the size of the microphone or just the positioning that you want. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just try this quarter 20 mile because this is going to be very interesting for me personally. So what I'm going to be testing now, which is going to be very interesting, at least for me, because this particular thing that I've got in my hands here is extremely useful. What it is, it's just basically a quarter 20 microphone clamp. But what I've done is I've, you know, banged a load of super glue in there and attached like, you know, some washers and a double ended quarter 20 male to male. So it gives me the option to screw this onto anything that's quarter 20 and give me an extra bit of grip for something or another. So let me just see how easy or not this may or may not be. So I'm just gonna put the quarter 20 adapter onto the shoe there. And let me get this on here. You'd have to excuse me if my dialogue goes a bit mad every now and then, because what it is, I'm trying to look at the camera and look at stuff around it. Okay, well that's good, because what it is, I can articulate this all over the place. And then... Uh, hold on a minute, not so good. Right, I don't know if you can see here, but that is just immediately snapped. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this isn't good. Right, let me get this off. Okay, so what I've done there, I've literally slid that inside. Let's see if you can see there, and then some bits have snapped off. If you have a look at the, if you have a look at the other one here, we can hopefully see roughly what's happened as far as what has snapped off. Uh, yeah, all right. So I'm putting that down as a complete failure. That one. Hold on a minute. Let me. Yeah, look. See, there's bits of all falling out inside. So what's happened any amount of pressure that that was going to take or be, or that was going to get applied to it was just going to snap it off and that's exactly what it's just done as you as you could see there when i was just trying to rotate that i wasn't putting any excessive force on it or anything so unfortunately that's broken that's a failure now i'm just wondering let me put the other one on and let's just see if that is also as flimsy so the other one's on there now let me just put the microphone on. I mean, the other thing with this as well, on a practical note, is, you know, if, if one of these things were to snap and break whilst you're using the things and you couldn't catch it and it fell and broke, then phew, that's not gonna be good, is it? Okay, so I'm just gonna jiggle this about. Okay, well, it would appear that this connection is a bit more solid than the last one. In fact, yeah, that one's fine, but, that quarter 21 there just snapped on face use. That is actually terrible. Okay, so I'm not going to hang around on this any longer. The basic case is good. Um, and then also, if you're not going to put those little extension things in, like the one that just broke, 
these are fine anyway they're, they're nice and solid these quarter 20s as you could see when i was putting the mic around it they're fine so if you're going to use it so not quarter 20s the actual shoe connectors if you're going to use it fairly much like that i don't think you're going to have any problems if you're going to start putting the little extenders on maybe you'll run into problems especially with that one anyway so just to finish this off let me just put all the bits on the table let's have one final little look at what it is we've been playing with here okay so there it is they're all on the table and whatnot and unfortunately there's the snapped shoe mount there as well now would i recommend this to someone well unfortunately as much as what it would work for me because i'm not too bothered about the fact that that snapped and broke if you were looking to this because you wanted to get this quarter 20 as part of the package and that was one of the selling points for you then definitely i wouldn't recommend this case because that just snapped on first use i mean you say first use it wasn't even like i went outdoors with it and was testing it properly or putting it into a situation where it was ha having to do a job i literally just tried to put something on it and it snapped off you know so on that basis if that was going to be imperative to your use having that extra quarter 20 definitely avoid this one it's not good at all that the construction of that component is terrible on the other hand for me personally you know just using something that's actually got two shoe mounts on is going to have a lot of uses and like i just shown you as well the shoe mounts themselves are fairly robust anyway so i don't think that's going to happen to the shoe mounts all righty then so you know if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up and all the rest of it subscribe to my channel click on the bell notification icon thing for future videos and also as well keep an eye out on my channels quite specifically to do with all this like you know our dji osmo stuff because i've got some more stuff coming up to do with the action and the pocket as well Alrighty, anyway, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.